I have to admit, I was skeptical at first. Could a simple homemade fertilizer really transform my plants from struggling to thriving? The answer, as I soon discovered, was a resounding yes. After testing this DIY mix, I watched my plants explode with new growth, vibrant leaves and flowers bursting to life. And now I want to share this powerful gardening secret with you. The best part? You probably already have the ingredients at home. No expensive store-bought fertilizers, no chemicals, just natural, organic materials that supercharge plant health. Whether you're growing vegetables, houseplants, or flowers, this homemade fertilizer is about to become your new best friend. The power behind homemade fertilizer. What makes a great fertilizer? It's all about the nutrients. Plants need three primary macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are often referred to as NPK, and they are the foundation of plant health. Nitrogen fuels leafy growth. Phosphorus strengthens roots and encourages flowers. And potassium boosts overall vitality, helping plants resist disease and stress. Homemade fertilizers work by delivering these essential nutrients in a slow-release organic form. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that give plants a quick but often short-lived boost, natural fertilizers provide steady nourishment while also improving soil health. Healthy soil means stronger plants, better drainage, and improved resistance to pests and diseases. The secret recipe that made my plants explode. The magic happened when I combined a few powerhouse ingredients that plants absolutely love. This recipe creates a balanced, nutrient-rich fertilizer that feeds plants while also enhancing microbial activity in the soil. Here's what worked wonders. Banana peels. Packed with potassium and phosphorus, banana peels help plants develop strong roots and abundant flowers. Simply chop them up and let them decompose in the soil or blend them with water for a fast-acting liquid feed. Eggshells. A fantastic source of calcium, eggshells prevent issues like blossom end rot in tomatoes and peppers. Crush them finely and mix them into the soil or steep them in water to create a calcium-rich tea. Used coffee grounds. These provide a slow release of nitrogen which is excellent for leafy greens and other fast-growing plants. They also improve soil texture and attract earthworms, nature's best gardeners. Molasses. This surprising ingredient feeds beneficial soil bacteria, which in turn makes nutrients more available to plants. A tablespoon mixed into water creates a potent microbial booster. Compost tea. A liquid gold for plants. Compost tea extracts all the best nutrients from compost and delivers them in an easily absorbable form. Just steep compost in water for 24 hours, strain, and use it to drench the soil or spray on leaves as a foliar feed. When I combined these ingredients into a liquid fertilizer and applied it to my plants, the results were nothing short of shocking. Within a week, I noticed greener leaves, stronger stems, and rapid new growth. Within a month, my plants had more flowers and fruits than ever before. How to apply homemade fertilizer for maximum growth. Timing is everything when it comes to fertilizing. Too much at the wrong time can lead to excessive foliage with little fruit, while too little can leave plants undernourished. For seedlings and young plants, a diluted version of the liquid fertilizer helps establish strong roots without overwhelming delicate plants. I mix one part fertilizer with two parts water and use it once a week. 
For flowering and fruiting plants at this stage, plants need an extra boost of phosphorus and potassium. I add more banana peels and eggshells to the mix and apply it every two weeks. For leafy greens, since greens thrive on nitrogen, I add extra coffee grounds and compost tea to their soil every week. Applying the fertilizer in the morning ensures that plants absorb nutrients efficiently without the risk of burning from intense midday sun. I also make sure to water plants before applying any concentrated feeds to prevent root stress. The unexpected benefits I discovered. Beyond the obvious growth explosion this homemade fertilizer brought unexpected benefits. My soil became richer and more alive. Filled with earthworms and beneficial microbes that further enhanced plant health. Pest problems decreased as my plants became stronger and more resilient. Even my container plants, which often struggle due to limited soil nutrients, started thriving with just a small amount of this mix. Another major bonus, sustainability. Using kitchen scraps to create fertilizer reduces waste and saves money, all while supporting a more eco-friendly gardening approach. No plastic packaging, no harmful runoff, just pure natural nourishment. Common mistakes and how to avoid them. Homemade fertilizers are powerful, but they need to be used correctly. Here are a few mistakes I've learned to avoid. Overusing coffee grounds. While coffee grounds are great for nitrogen, too much can make soil overly acidic. I always balance them with alkaline materials like eggshells. Applying too much at once more fertilizer doesn't mean faster growth. A little goes a long way. Using rotten or moldy ingredients, while decomposition is natural, mold and rot can introduce harmful pathogens. I always use fresh, properly composted materials to keep plants healthy. Skipping watering fertilizers need water to be absorbed effectively. I ensure that plants are hydrated before applying any nutrients. Why you should try this fertilizer today. If you're looking for a way to take your plants to the next level, this homemade fertilizer is the answer. It's easy, cost-effective, and delivers real results. Whether you're growing flowers, vegetables, or houseplants, this nutrient-packed formula will give them the boost they need to thrive. Give it a try and see the transformation for yourself. And if you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share this with fellow gardeners. Let's grow stronger, healthier plants together.